What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, this is Frankie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super, super excited today. By the way, we're up to 314 subscribers now. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it a lot. Um, so if you don't know, I am doing a giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, like, and hashtag 500 in the comments for your chance to win a guaranteed overvalue $100 mystery box from me. Um, man, hope everybody's had a great week. Cinco de Mayo was crazy. Uh, I worked my butt off. But anyways, it's over and uh, it's been a few days and I got some really, really cool stuff I'd like to get through and show all you guys. I think you're going to like it. I know I'm going to like it. I was waiting for some of this stuff to come in. So just to give you a quick rundown of this video today, um, let's see, I've got some, some stuff that I hunted down earlier last week that I never got to. I have a GameStop. Mandalorian box. This is gonna be my Scooby snack today. Yeah, we're gonna open this thing up. See if we can get that That mud Mando and uh, I've got a huge box here from Funko Got some things in it uh, Can't wait to open I have a Pickup here and this is coming from oh What's the name of that company? Ah, it'll come to me. It'll come to me, but this this is going to be epic. This is going to be dope right here. Also, I've got another Funko box. I picked up one of those Venom mystery boxes. Been told, they've been, people have been telling me in the comments they want to see me open one. Picked one up. While I was in there, I figured, you know what? Let's play a chase roulette. Grabbed a couple pieces for a chase roulette and grabbed a, an extra piece that I just wanted to add to the collection. Anyways, uh, let's get this video going. I guess we're going to start out like usual with the hunt. Uh, first, but we went to GameStop. They, didn't have, they don't have a whole lot of GameStop right now that I don't have in the collection or that I want to add to the collection. They've got a couple of exclusives, but they're like wrestling pops. I'm not a wrestling collector. I mean, if they had like a Hulk Hogan or, you know, a Ricky, Dist some of the old school wrestlers, I would have been cool with it. But yeah, the newer ones, not so much. I like WWF, not a fan of WWE. That's just me. It's my opinion. It's what I like. Anyways, I did find this guy, uh, GameStop exclusive, old Jar Jar Binks, picked him up, the Star Wars collection, don't have a Jar Jar, uh, never seen a Jar Jar out in the wild, so figure I'd pick him up, cool pop, I don't think it has much value to it, but nonetheless, added to the collection, and then... Last week I was at Hot Topic and I picked up a couple of pops while I was there and I found this Beerus Hot Topic exclusive eating noodles from Dragon Ball Z. Don't have this one yet in my collection. Well, guess what? Now I do. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a nice one. Beerus eating noodles. And I found the 420 Hot Topic exclusive Snoop Dogg. It was supposed to be released on 420, but unfortunately, our Hot Topic is like way behind on the time, so they didn't get it till like about a week later, so yeah, they finally did get it in, saw it, swooped it up, and this actually is my first Snoop Dogg for the collection. I've seen some Snoops in the wild, they, they were just common Snoops, so I never picked them up, but it is a Hot Topic exclusive, and it is the 421. It's actually pretty dope. Kind of like it. Anyways, these were my three things I picked up in the wild for the week. 
go ahead and get these and put these on over here. Where do we start? Where do we start? I guess, uh, you know what? Let's get into this guy right here. I, what's the name of this company? It is eluding me. Anyways, y'all have might have seen that new upper deck LeBron James pop that came out. It's like in that built-in hard stack. So I saw it on my social media, of course. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So I went on there and uh, to check it out. And lo and behold, I see this guy. And I was like, oh, ho, ho, I got to have that. So, of course, I ordered it. All right, good packaging. I like that. And I was hoping it would say who this was from, and it does not. It's just an ID number for the pop. And we have the Upper Deck exclusive number 126 Michael Jordan, number 12 from the Bulls, encased in a hard stack that does not open, that I believe. It's just, he's in there permanently. Hardwood Classics, MJ, everybody loves Jordan. I love Jordan. That's a dope one. Got this guy, I think they had him for, I want to say... $39.99, so like 40 bucks for this guy. And the LeBron, they actually have on sale, or not on sale, they have it for sale, I think right now for $29.99. I ordered him too. He is on the way. I think I'm gonna be ordering, uh, I just like these upper deck, the upper deck stickers sick. You know, I, I grew up collecting sports cards, football cards, basketball cord, cards, baseball, hockey, everything. I was a huge card collector. I had, at one point, I had almost a million cards in my collection. And then, uh, oh, one bad relationship and I lost everything. And so I told myself, I'm done with cards. Never again. Never again. Anyways, I am curious what his value is. If they have him on Hobby DB, so I did pay 40 bucks for him. Let's see. And, and they do. Uh, Michael Jordan, number 12. This is uh, released in 2022. Uh, upper deck. Estimated value. All right. $85. This is an $85 pop. Nice. Nice. You know what? I have a feeling this one is going to end up in the over 100 mark. It's going to end up being a grail. Glad I picked this up right now before they're sold out. I don't know if they're going to make more since it is an exclusive. But uh, I, I love this down here. Says uh, Pop Basketball, NBA, Chicago Bulls, 126, Michael Jordan, number 12 jersey, upper deck exclusive sticker. $85 pop, y'all. Hell yeah. He's going right there. Cool. Really like that one. All right. I see these at GameStop every time I go in there. They have these, the Star Wars gaming threat, some blood or Bloodborne, some other box. And I've seen a few of these open on some videos. And uh, I know there's some cool Mando Pops that you can pull out of here. So I was like, you know what? Actually, they had this on sale when I walked in. Uh, and it wasn't supposed to be on sale, but they didn't take the sign down yet. So I made the guy honor it. And I think I walked out of there with this for like 15 bucks. So I was like, let's do it. So this is gonna be my Scooby snack for today. Take a little break on Mystery Grail. Still have some Mystery Grails, but 
figured we'd do something a little different. Let's see what we can get out of here. Got some bubble. We have a Star Wars pin. Cool. We have a patch, of course. I've seen all these in the videos. But the thing we care about is which pops did we get? Oh, let's see here. I'm trying to get it out without damaging because these are not in protectors and they're snug. Snug like a bug in a rug. And what did we get? We've got Death Watch Mandalorian No Stripes GameStop exclusive. All right. Cool Mando. And what is our second pop? We've got the Remnant Stormtrooper. Oh, I like that one. He's got some grunge, some dirt to him. Also came with a little sticker. Cool, not the one I was looking for. So I'm thinking maybe I might pick up another box, try to get that Mudhorn, that's what it's called, the Mudhorn Mando. Hopefully I can, uh, on the next try, I can get that Mudhorn Mando. But anyways, I paid 15 bucks for these two pops. Got some free memorabilia, I guess you could say. I'm dying to know if they even have any value to them. Uh, Stormtrooper, 21 bucks. We're already up six bucks. All right. It's a good investment. Even if I paid full price for 30 bucks, that was 21. Mandalorian pops got to be at least worth more than nine. So definitely going to get your money back. And this guy is between $19 and $20. Uh, this is the GameStop. Yeah. See, that's weird. GameStop sticker, $19. The overseas special edition sticker is $20. Why? But anyways, I digress. All right. So, $19. We did good. We did great. Both of these pops were worth more than the box themselves. Not mad at it. Don't have either one of these for the Star Wars collection. Cool additions. All right, all right. All right, what are we gonna get into? I think we're gonna go with the big boy. So, there is three pops in this giant box here. I think they were $18 a piece. I ordered these off of Funko. The website, of course. Uh, these three pops are identical. They are all the same. There is no difference. Why did I order three of them? Because they're fucking dope. That's why. You might beg to differ. You might have your own opinion. But these... Oh, yeah. Damn, these are huge. You got an idea what they are yet? Have you guessed what they are yet? <laughs> yes, sir. I've been waiting for these guys. The Transformers Optimus Prime Retro Toys. Oh, yeah, lights and sounds. And of course, we got to open this one up. I got to. I got to. I never really open pops up on my channel, but this one deserves an opening. Definitely want to check him out. There's a little tab. Pull the tab. He looks sick. All right, you guys ready? More than meets the eye. <laughs> With the OG voice. I love it. Autobots, roll out. And it lights up underneath. It has the Autobot sign, the symbol. Autobot symbol. I got to see this for myself. Ah, <laughs> oh, the lights. 
the eyes, the chest, the base, Autobots, roll out. and the transformer sound. Sick. Sick. Matter of fact, sorry, Bat. Batman, you're going over here. Optimus has a new home. That is his new home. That is definitely an out-of-box pop. Hence, the reason I got three. Maybe. I'm not sure. Why do I say that? Because wanted one for out-of-box. Save this box. I want one for the collection. Inbox. Love it. Sick pop. It's going right there next to Michael. Beautiful. And I figured I would get one for a future giveaway for one of you guys. So, yeah. Definitely after I give away that mystery box, after you hashtag 500 and subscribe and like the video and everything. Um, after we do that mystery box giveaway, this is going to be one of my next giveaways. Love it. If you would like to get it, you know, just keep watching. Definitely sick pop. Love that a lot. Pretty sure if it's something you really want, you can, I'm pretty sure they still have them in stock on Funko. On the Funko app or the Funko store or whatever you want to call it. Alright guys. This box here. This box. Let me tell you about this box. So I have the Venom Funko Mystery Box inside of here. So everybody's heard of it or at least seen it. If you haven't, you get a new Venom Pop plus two... Mm, product dumps basically which I'm fine with the whole point is to get that venom pop and hopefully you don't get a shuri uh, on the product dump as long as I don't get a shuri I'm happy I don't like the Wakanda forever line uh, there's not a single pop in there that I have in my collection have bought or want uh, also I did a, a small chase roulette that new uh Things like the black symbiote suit Spider-Man. I ordered two of those. I'm hoping I can get a perfect pull. Uh, two commons. It is what it is. Two chases would be great. Uh, a perfect pull would be even better. Then I'll have two pieces from my collection that I don't have. And I also grabbed a another Spider-Man pop. Uh, what was it? Some special, some different suit, Spider-Man. I thought it was cool. I saw it. I was like, ah, let's get it. It doesn't have a chance of a chase. I just like the pop. So, let's get into this. More than meets the eye. That's right. And I'm super excited. I, uh... Got a couple of boxes on the way right now in the mail that uh, I will be opening in a future video that definitely got me stoked. Super pumped about these boxes. Super pumped. These are probably some of the better boxes that I've ever, will ever open, have ever purchased. Um, saw the drops and I had to have them. I'm not going to quite tell y'all what they are yet, but they'll be. it'll be a dope video. Definitely. Still sitting on some anime boxes. Still sitting on, on a Pop King Paul box. I, I still got a... I think I got a damaged, oh, way over value mystery box from Smy World. Uh, still got some heat for you guys. It's coming. It's coming. Let's get through this guy. Alright. And what do we have here? Sorters. Funko's doing a lot better job. With sending their product. I don't know which one is which. I'm sure it'll. They 
both want to come out at the same time. All right. I don't see any lick. Okay. So this is our Venom box, and this is going to be our Chase Roulette. I think I'm going to go with the Venom box first. And how does this open? All right. Don't want to look. I want you guys to see. So we'll start. Uh, do I feel any stickers? I don't. That's a sticker. All right. So the middle one has a sticker. Let's pull this one first. And what do we got? Secret Invasion Marvel Studios Nick Fury. All right. I like that. Funko Exclusive 2022 Fall Convention. Nice pop. Don't have that. It's my first Nick Fury pop. Wasn't a Shuri, so I'm happy with that. Uh, let's grab this one in the end. And, oh, he's upside down. What do we got? I see Marvel in the back. Star-Lord with Groot. Funko exclusive. All right. He has a little, a little cassette tape, his Walkman, and a little baby Groot. A little Christmas pop there. Not mad at that. Not mad at that. All right. All right. And, of course, the last one we know is going to be the glow-in-the-dark Funko exclusive Venom. Now, I got to see this pop. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Let's see here. Because you can't really see it that well through the box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's sick. He's got Thor's hammer. And I, I want to say someone said the Silver Surfer sword, but I don't remember the Silver Surfer having a sword, but I don't read comic books, so maybe at one point he did, but he's definitely dope. I like him. Alright, let's uh, put him back in his cage. Curious about the value. You know, it was a $30 mystery box, so basically Funko can do a product dump, but at least they gave you a sick pop with it. Let's see here. We've paid 30 bucks. What do we get back in value? Let's start with Star Lord. Star Lord? Wow. Really? $27. All right. I'm not mad at you. For a Christmas pop? Maybe just because it's new. I don't know, but still, that almost pays for the whole box. Nick Fury. What? Nick Fury with the limited. It's not the Comic Con. 32 bucks for Nick Fury. We're at $59 right now. We haven't even got to the Venom Pop yet. All right. And the Venom says it's gone up $4. The Venom is king in black. That's what I said. The Venom is sitting at 34 bucks. Wow, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. It's 13, three, six, seven, eight, nine. 93 dollars on a 30 dollar box that's a, a 63 dollar profit that's that's awesome shit product dumped me to death <laughs> i am not mad at it not mad at it all at all three pops again that i do not have in my collection that i will be adding to my collection all right now, 
the chase roulette. Let's see how we do. All right. Autobots, roll out. Sorry. I love that thing. Let's try to do this. All right. I am filling for st stickers. Fill a sticker there. I don't know what the hell. I'll start at this end. I'll fill a sticker there. <laughs> yes! Pulled it. Pulled it. Awesome. Spider-Man No Way Home. Triple A anime exclusive limited glow chase Spider-Man. Thank you, Funko. Thank you very much. Can I get two? Can I get two? No, but we got a perfect pool. How about that? Took a gamble and it paid off. Hell yeah. And then the last pop is the Marvel Beyond Amazing Collection Target Exclusive Spider-Man in the Oscorp suit. I thought that was a dope one. It's something about his, his eyes. I definitely want to take him out of the box just real quick. Mm. These things are tricky. When you try to open these, but you don't want to rip them, the way they have them sitting. There we go. The last thing you want to do is tear your box. Because everybody knows box condition is everything. Yeah. He's sick. That's what got me in the pictures. It's the eyes. They've got like this. It's almost like he's wearing glasses. And you can see through it to his skin. That's a cool pop. Cool little Spider-Man pop right there. I like that a lot. He would actually be a cool out-of-box pop. You know, I... I started thinking the other day, like, I should have, now that I have more space, some out-of-box pops sitting in front of the boxes. I think it would look a lot nicer. I just uh, got to get around to it. Got to find the time. Anyways, let's put him back in his home. I think he goes something like that no nope. I don't know how the hell he goes in here okay. mm -hmm. no I'm not even close this guy does not want to go to his home obviously you can tell I don't take a lot of pops out of boxes there we go definitely like this one Cool pop. There you go. He's back home. All right. So I paid, I want to say these were 15 a piece. So this is $45 right here. How did we do? Did we get our money worth? Our money's worth. We will start with the Oscorp Spidey. And he is coming in at... $20. Definitely worth his value. And this is the com that's the chase. This is the common and that chase is pretty minty. Little minor imperfections here and there, but I mean it's Funko, it's going to happen. They don't take a lot of care of their pops in the warehouses they just kind of throw shit around but anyways uh the common no way home spider-man it's coming in at 17 bucks and the chase the triple anime 
exclusive glow chase is coming in at seventy dollars wow all right so then we got seven a seven eight nine ten spent 45 bucks got a hundred and seven dollars back not bad all in all we had a great day great video new pops sorry i just more than meets the eye but yeah definitely comment down below if you guys are interested in one of these as a giveaway these are sick if you get the opportunity or the chance and you can order this on Funko, order it. I'm not hating. Not hating at all. Order it. Get it. It's worth it. It's sick. Uh, Chase Roulette worked for me today. Maybe we'll try this again in the near future. I did go on the Funko app at the store and I was going around and I just typed in Chase. And it pulled up every pop that they had available for sale in the store with a possible chase. Most of them were sodas, but there was still like a good, I think at least 12 four inch pops that had the chance of chases. I mean, go in there and buy two of five of them, get 10 pops and you never know. I've seen people get boxes where they ordered six pops and they're all chases. Like whoever's, Putting those boxes together was showing some love that day. Anyways, once again, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the love, all the comments. Um, and don't forget, hashtag 500. You're going to love this mystery box I put out. Uh, we're getting there. We're at 314. We'll be there soon. Until next time. Later, guys.